Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cars, Computers, and Buoy. Today I got something that's a little cool. So a friend of mine had an old MacBook. They haven't used it in ages. They had no idea what was on it. Had no idea if it worked or not. Figured maybe I could do something with it. So I took it. Let's take a look and see what we can figure out about this MacBook. Alright, so here it is. I've been uh, charging it for a while. First, let me show you the uh, charging cord it came with. This is all that was uh, left. I actually cut this cord off to see if maybe I could try to, you know, do something a little sketchy. So I just figured 20 bucks on Amazon was a lot better idea. But this, this is actually how I got it. It was this severed about to be just completely cut off. So there's not really a good way to take a video of this, but uh, I'll do my best. This thing is a time capsule. As you can see, it's got OS X 10.9. Now, I'm not a Mac guy, so I think we're on OS 11 dot something. I don't know. Now, this is actually kind of weird to me. On this computer, when I started it up, it said it was Sunday, November 15th, 2015. I did not connect it to the internet, but I didn't realize that unlike a Windows PC it just kinda stops in time if the battery runs out so I guess on Sunday November 15th the battery ran out and it just was frozen in time forever it's kinda hard for me to think of this as a retro laptop it's a 2009 MacBook check out the old Firefox logo it's got Firefox 25 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the hard drive out of this because I kinda wanna preserve full time capsule as is. What I want to do is I'm going to see if I can install my old solid state drive that I have lying around and maybe use it as a uh, you know a couch laptop. So let's jump into it. I'm going to uh, open this up, take the hard drive out, put the solid state drive in and we're going to start doing some research to figure out how to uh, install OS X on here. This is going to be a learning experience. I'm going to figure it out as I go. One pleasant surprise is the back cover is held in with Phillips head screws. Imagine that, an Apple computer that's easy to open. All right, let's see what we got. There we go. Pop that off. Let's blow some dust out. It really wasn't all that dusty to be honest with you. here unplug our hard drive it's got these little nubs here oh, I didn't think about that I mean they kind of seem like Torx heads all right well I guess I spoke too soon Let's see if we can find a Torx bit somewhere all right taking this these little nubs that help mount this now let's put a solid state drive in here anything all right that's good plug our little ribbon cable in okay now let's close her back up all right easy peasy all right, let's see what we're working with here. A whole bunch of nothing. Okay, I kind of expected this because obviously there's no uh, operating system. Oh, something's happening. No way. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay, so this hard drive obviously had Windows on it before, but I did not expect it to actually just start booting into Windows like it was a normal computer. Okay, now I'm, now I'm curious about this. This has turned into a much different video. You have got to be kidding me. Well, this is not where I expected this video to go because I was under the impression jumped through a bunch of hoops to get Windows to work on a MacBook and yet here we are. I'm sure none of the drivers are installed. Pop open hardware info and see uh, see what's going on here. All right, well, it has detected the stuff that's, you know, supposed to be in here. 
I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say at this point. I, like I said, I thought that this would be a lot harder. Oh, we got to check the PC now. Well, now this is a question I never thought we could, uh, we could answer. Will Windows 11 be compatible with the 2009 MacBook? Well, it's downloading something. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta tap with two fingers. Well, I thought you had to check with two fingers. I may only have, what is it? Command click, command click, yep, no. Uh, option click, control click, function click. Well, I don't know how to uh, right click. Okay, you're just gonna have to pardon my uh, Windowsness if you're just screaming right now about my lack of Apple knowledge. Boy, we are just on an adventure right now. We truly are answering the question, no one asked. Can you install Windows 11 on a 2009 MacBook? The world needs to know. All right, now we're to installing. I mean, it's acting like it's doing something. I'm kind of getting excited now. Hey, we're almost halfway there. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. So close. Oh man, we're at 100%. You know what that means. Here we go. Our next set of progress bars. Ooh. It's a good sign. It's that flat Windows logo. I think it's working. Ooh, here we go. Looking good. Oh, it actually looks like it's installed some drivers, too. Well, there you have it, folks. We've answered the question that nobody asked. We've installed Windows 11 on a 2009 MacBook. So that video took quite a detour. We waited for about two hours for it to install uh, Windows 11 on there. Now I can say I've installed Windows 11 on a 2009 MacBook. How many people can really say that? But let's get into the meat of the video. We're going to get this thing to be a daily driver for me when I'm watching TV. Fun fact, if you didn't know, the only way you can get an image, at least from what I've found, is you have to use another Mac. Okay, well never mind. That didn't work because this Mac is too new. So I guess we will have to mess around with uh, some sketchy ISOs and see if we can figure this out. Do you think? Oh, bye. Okay, so I've determined that basically the instructions you see on the screen aren't going to work. I tried this first part, download High Sierra, because that's the latest version that's compatible with uh, my old Mac. But, of course, it doesn't download on a newer version of OS X. So, so I tried to download El Capitan it downloaded the disk image but when I tried to uh, open the disk image and run the installer within it wouldn't do that either because again too new a Mac so we're gonna try to figure out how to do it uh, the really sketchy way by going to a bunch of random websites and seeing uh, what we can discover and what we can uh, figure out UUbyte because that's a name you can trust Tech Radard not Tech Radar Tech Radard Oh, the official way to obtain the ISO. See, this is all about downloading the latest version. Unfortunately, I need an older version. Kind of puts me in a spot. Boy, this seems this seems really trustworthy. I have to download Clean My Mac. Oh boy, I can ask your friend who has an old Mac to download an old Mac OS because that's going to work. If I want to install mac os x leopard this is this is too old i need 2009 that's 2007 it looks so sketchy so sketchy we'll think about that one we'll, we'll wait on it wait i mean i don't care about this laptop i just it's, it's the principle of it well come on now i i should have seen this much earlier i think i'm going to give this one a shot no idea if this is what we need or not, but I'm willing to take a chance. Here, here's a random Google Drive link. Oh, that's that's not sketchy at all. All right, so I have my thumb drive flashed. I already did it a little bit earlier. I just didn't record it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and 
and flash this sucker onto our MacBook, see if we can get something to work. None of these are going to work because there's no recovery partition to go to. Uh, venturing into the closet of wonders again. Uh, I think. Okay. So here's our Sketch City thing. I've got my little dock here. Need to find a power cord. And even though it's USB 3, we're going to see if this will work. That's 18 volts. This is 5 volts. This is 9 volts. AC 15 volts. The hell does this go to? Oh wait, no, that goes to my little sneak box. That won't work. 5 volts. An old zip drive that also is 5 volts. You'd think I'd get more organized here. 9 volts. Craftsman? Where would that have come from? I don't have any of that. 9 volts. Uh, come on, one of these has got to be... Oh, here we go. 12 volts, 2 amps. Hopefully 2 amps is enough. Got to snake this sucker out of here. She's really jammed in there. I know I should be more organized, but my goodness. You know, I don't even know if the end of this is the right little barrel adapter. Jeez, look at this. How did, how did that even happen? All right, it fits. That's a good sign. We're going to pop our little time capsule drive in. All right, we're doing something. Okay. Let's try reinstall OS X. Oh, I got to connect to the internet. We're going to verify eligibility. I don't really know what that means. Okay, here we go. I forgot I have to create an Apple ID. I think I still have an Apple ID somewhere. Let's see. Oh, boy. Well, that's promising. My best guess is that Mavericks no longer exists in the App Store, therefore it can't install it, therefore there's nothing we can do at this point. All right, okay. Let's see how this works. Oh boy. Because I don't have access to the Mac store. But that's okay. We can probably use this El Capitan image. What do you think, Bowie? Can we do it? Do you want to install Mac OS? Mac OS El Capitan? High Sierra? Lion? Mavericks? You like all the Mac OS's, don't you? No, you just don't care. It's okay. Alright. Let's see if I can remember any of my Unix. I know a little bit of this. Oh boy. CD library. Oh, okay. So we did go back one. Okay, as much as I'd like to pretend I know what I'm doing in Terminal, I think our next move is to go into our time capsule. Okay, here we go. This is what I want, because this is what will... The problem is I don't know this password. Oh, my God. <laughs> of all the... Well, dag nab it. Unfortunately, I don't know my friend's password, they don't know their password, so this also will not work. Back to recovery. This USB is bootable, according to this one random website. We're going to find out. Nope. Not at all. I have a Mac OS High Sierra ISO that I found on a less than reputable site that actually has that installer app. Now normally if I just try to download this and create this installer it doesn't allow me to because this Mac has a much newer version of Mac OS on it. But since I'm just copying this to the application folder I just might be able to run those commands in terminal to get this on a USB drive. So something's got to work. Things are looking pretty promising. Execute that create install media command. So we're going to see if this works. Okay, so we finished copying those boot files. It says it's bootable. We're going to find out. Uh-oh, here we go. Install macOS High Sierra. 
Oh my gosh. We've got an apple symbol. Okay, we got something happening. All right, here we are. Mac OS Utilities. Not OS X, but Mac OS. So I think, I think we're going to do it. Okay, according to the internet, this is caused by an expired certificate. So this was never going to work. Problem is, I can't download a new installer because this Mac that I have is too new. Okay, I found something online that says if we roll back the date, it'll let me install it. Wow. <laughs> Boy, that was easy. So apparently, if you download it from that ISO, there's a certificate, a security certificate that's expired, and that's why it gives that message. But if you just roll back the date on the Mac, apparently it works. And now we're installing. Let me tell you, this has been the biggest pain in the butt that I have ever had to deal with. Like I said, if this was a Windows install, this would have worked like after five minutes. I think we've done it. I think we've successfully installed it. Well, boys, I think we did it. We got her installed. Uh, that will do it for this video. It's probably already been way too long as it is. We started out by plugging an SSD into it and getting Windows 11 on it for some reason. And then after that, we went through quite a struggle to get an installer that would install Mac OS on that SSD without having to interfere with our time capsule hard drive. I'll probably still do some stuff to this to get it ready to be kind of my laptop for when I'm watching TV, just want to surf the internet. Thank you for joining me on Cars, Computers, and Bowie. We'll see you next time.